I've got my Blue Eddy charger going into the Blue Eddy, pumping in 417 watts. The Blue Eddy charger is plugged into my 1500 watt inverter down below that's connected to 200 amp hour of lithium batteries. I've got my TV up there playing a movie. I'm going to be watching Anchorman, the first one. I watched Anchorman 2 last night, so i got to go back to the first one. That is being powered by my pure sine wave inverter, my 2000 watt over there. I'm about to, let's turn some light on a little bit, turn this down. I want to get the watts to drop down below a thousand. That looks pretty good. Now I think we can plug in the George Foreman. Plug in a Foreman. All right, now the fans just kicked on high. 1,728 watts, got 410 going in. That's yeah, so there you go, guys, cooking on solar. And, oh, that fan is just torquing out the air. And then after that bacon gets cooked, I'm gonna throw a burger on there. Have a burger, I always put the bacon on first because the bacon takes longer. Guys, I'm loving the solar. In my opinion, the George Foreman grill is the best way to cook bacon because you don't get any splattering. It's got a heating coil on the top and the bottom. All right, now that it's back up there, I can kick my hood fan on and get all the stink out of here. You can see that grease tray is collecting all the grease. It's not splattering on the walls. I decided to move the Foreman grill back over here because I noticed some of the steam was getting sucked into the intake on the Blue Eddy and I didn't want that. But I'll just keep the fan on. It'll pull some over. Here's a look at the foreman. Look at that. Oh yeah. So far it's looking pretty good. We're still at 81%. So yeah, I think I've mentioned this before, but if you want a big Blue Eddy like that, you need a lot of solar panels. They say you can run it off two or three, but that's... It's not going to run worth a crap, because as soon as it starts drawing power, the voltage comes down and then it kicks off. So it'll be kicking on, kicking off. I would not run anything less than five, 600 watts of solar, bare minimum. So the only thing I'm using propane for right now is the fridge. And that's the only thing that I'm gonna be using propane for all winter long if everything goes great. All right, so let's check on that bacon quick. That bacon is done, it's time to get the burger on. All right, just threw the burger on. This George Foreman right here will cook burgers extremely fast. We're talking a burger in five minutes. Whoa, there you go. After it's all said and done, we're still at 83%. No, I had a lot going into it. Otherwise, we'd be down to at least 60%, I bet. Uh, solar's bringing in 195 right now, and we're just gonna let that slowly charge this back up. I've also turned the 5000 BTU air conditioner on because it's getting pretty hot in here. This is the end product, guys. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy my lunch. And with enough solar, you can live without having to rely on gas almost entirely. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Later. Give her two tickets to the gun show.